What's going on beautiful people? Hope you're all doing well in and around this world wherever you are. If you're here in Toronto, what's up? If you're in Canada, anywhere in Canada, what's up? If you're down in south of the border, you're in Americas, what's up? A little bit south, further south, Mexico, South America, a little bit further east. Oh, we're, we're, we're in the ship now. We're sailing across the seven seas, baby. We're all the way in Africa. You want to move on up a little bit go up into europe wherever you are what's up middle east further east what's up all the way to russia alaska alaska and canada are also very close actually it's touching we're touching we're, we're all around the world baby what's up love you guys papa new guinea never forget papa new guinea what's up baby Hope you're all safe and sound. Welcome back. It's another episode of Glad You Made It. It's a social production. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Hope you're all safe and sound. We're at the final stretch, baby. It's the last bad batch, baby, of this weird year that we've all been having. Weird year and a half, two years almost. Let's let's just call a spade a spade. It's been deuces, baby, but that's all good. Feeling great, feeling fantastic. You know why? Because I'm always, I'm preparing. I'm preparing, baby. That's what it is. You know you're going to have a great day when you drop a nice deuce, baby. That's what When you drop a nice, solid deuce, when it's just one piece, you look back for not too long because it's not, but like, it's not like you had something to do with it, but you, you did. It's, 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 it's you. It's all you. It's, it's basically a little hint that you're doing something right, at least with the bodily temple, that is. Because like sometimes it comes into chunks, pieces, different texture and what have you solid deuces you know you're gonna have a great day and that's what it is baby start off with a high note count all the small w's move on up baby that's what it is hope you guys are all dropping solid deuces and if you're tired of you know if you're tired of not dropping proper deuces hit the like buttons all your ibs problems will be solved I guarantee hit the like buttons follow on instagram subscribe on youtube check out patreon and all your ailments will just disappear because that's what we do baby that medicine man coming in every week what are we guys what do we what are we doing what are we doing out here what are we doing what are we doing out here what do we what do we want to talk about today we want to talk about everything and nothing as per usual keeping it loose as a goose of course been doing a lot of things been doing a lot of things had a very productive weekend not gonna lie to you guys as per usual man did a lot of work had some time to sit down and you know I've just been you know it's a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of this a little bit of that you got to do everything that works for you and sometimes you know your boys got to you know do a little bit of sketching drop a couple of sketches it's sketched quite a bit actually on Saturday evening well into Sunday morning and then behind me you'll see is a little a little extra I hope you guys notice it and if you don't well notice it because it's like right behind over my shoulder dude it's a cute little Winnie the Pooh painting that just you know and I sketched so many different things and I don't even know how we ended up there but that's what it is baby didn't even and the origin like been thinking about what what am I gonna paint for the next you know and it's nothing to it's just for me and I hope you guys like it as well but it's uh yeah sketched a bunch of faces trying to you know work on my faces work on my people skills and that's what it is baby but uh, it's not a person but it's uh it's definitely a, it's it's it is what it is yeah i hope you guys like it and uh that's what it is man sometimes you need to just i needed to get out of my head i need to get out of because overall big pick overall big pick bro about that big pick energy life scooch everything's good we're on the right track you and i are on the right track well what does that mean as long as you know what you want and as long as you're taking little tiny steps baby it's tight ty- it's, the, it's the little teeniest wee little baby steps that counts so if you're doing whatever it is that you can in your power to direct yourself or put yourself on the right path of whatever it is that you want to achieve and you're trying every day that's that's a win that's a win and you know uh, it's it's the holiday season baby it's christmas is here your boy's a huge christmas fan i'm super excited just because it's it's cheerful you see you know people have put up lights on their houses lights on the witches you know I, I put I put lights on the background almost to you we, we adjusted we've been adjusting quite a bit but ever since the lights went up and I, I didn't want to take them down it's just something about 
lights that just, you know, it'll, uh, it'll brighten up your day. It'll brighten up your day. That's what it is, man. And I just love it. I see people that have decorated their houses. I see, you know, I don't see too, well, a lot of our regular moving about has been disrupted. So, you know, I don't see too, too many, I've not been, I'm not a big shopping mall type of guy anyway, but you know, back in the day, that was, that was a thing. Maybe you'd want to go pick a little something, something up, you drop by a local mall and you see other people and everybody's, you know, with the fam, a couple of bags here and there, but you know, this year with, and the past two years now, we, you know what it is, it's been reduced and restricted mobility for a lot of us and yeah man we're here in Ontario I don't know where uh, everywhere is doing it differently but here in Ontario we got some sort of a new uh, we got some new restrictions on top of the risk and, and more mandates and more of the, the same old same old so I don't know when this thing's gonna but that's what it is baby I'm just looking forward to 2021 being over behind us and I'm just looking forward to 2022 and the easy and the easing and we're, we're gonna get loose in 22 baby things are gonna get loose we're gonna get prolapsed we're gonna get it'll be flappy but st uh, we we've studied we've so we've we've taken surveys we've taken we've done research we've cold called we've hot called and the answers are and people people want to get loose people want to get loose because that's what it is man everybody's whoever wanted to go get their you know necessary whatever that they find suitable for them has gotten it once some some people have gotten it twice some have gotten it three and it's some they're, they're now pushing for a fourth and probably which is i i think if they're if if the scientific community or the or the there's good and like bad and everything where right? the the evil components of the scientific community and the the material aspects of the scientific community maybe like it's maybe maybe a little bit has got to do with like big pharma Man, it reminds me of uh, I'm like man where, where do they get these ideas for their PR and what have you are they? and it's it's an old one it's an old one it's, but you got to like look for it it's out there but it's an old one it's, it reminds me of the original you know back in the day when you were like two three and you just start to shave and you're like man gotta get me some Gillette's back in the day there were only like what one blade on the Gillette and you were like two just starting you know feel like a man or a woman you wanted to start shaving and one blade sometimes it wasn't even a blade sometimes it was just the it, it was either or before it, it came with a an handle and the little you know the little portion that the blade is inserted into it, it was either that or you just got the blade the old school it was just a blade and again because it's good if you're two three you're starting you want to start with one sharp blade in your hand and move on up but that's the thing little by little people started you know they did more surveys we we had think tanks come in think tanks go out research survey studies uh blind blind studies not like visually impaired but some knew what was going on some were given placebos some were given just regular blades and again, nobody, they're not that we're discriminating and it wasn't, I wasn't in this, but I, I've researched that has been done. I've read into it and not that they were just like, oh, we need people who can see everybody. It was a mixed bag. It was a mixed bag. There's no discrimination. Cause again, you want to know if like one in 10 or one in a hundred's got, you know, is a little bit visually impaired. You still want them to be able to use your product. So that's what it is. But they started to notice that people want something a little bit more maybe efficient. If you're going to go down, swipe down or up and again think about this like you're two three years starting out with one but people wanted to do a little bit more with their time so they're like you know what let's just add another let's add a blade or two you know so that's that's what it is because like one's better than two makes sense you, you, you get more you get more bang for your buck and then you know some time went by but that's the thing we every year we got to do it better we got to do it better we got to come in sharper stronger faster slicker baby slick smooth smooth so that's what and things got you know, it was it was a revolution in the blade industry at the time, at least. And then Gillette introduced the the Mach three, the Mach three, baby, the Mach three, with a or or it could also be Mash Mash three, Mash or 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 Mach, depending on or Mache three. That's what it is. 
three blades now. Now, now totally different ball game. So every time you swipe up, swipe down, swipe left, swipe right, not only are you removing hair, but you're removing essential skin. Sure, you're bleeding a little bit. If you're if you're bleeding, it's working, and that's what we, and we're like, man. This is this is uh, who who would have thought? Who would have thought? Because we start off with no blade, half a blade. Sometimes it was just a matter of grab something that resembles a shaving device of sorts, and that's the before that it was knives. Before that it was you you had to pluck, because that that and if you if you look at pictures maybe from your great grandparents great 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 grandparents if you look at pictures from you know six seven generations ago eight time eight nine ten generations ago pictures it's not the most high def but they were definitely they were trying but that's the thing you notice a lot of men women facial hair bodily hair all in, uh, generic body hair but that didn't stop them from you know and that's what it was you said that the original shaving was plucking you'd sit around like monkeys and you'd, you'd pluck you'd back to back you'd sit and you'd pluck whether it was you know oh I'll, I'll oh what is this just off your shoulder okay cool and you, that's community building that's what it was but then you know the world the great wars happened and then all of a sudden we all started you know gravitate a little, a little bit more towards like individualism and all of a sudden it's like oh I, it's, it's, I'll shave my own bodily hair is what it is but you know we start off with one moved on to two then got the third blade and we're like man fuck it three is fucking great man three I know I would have never thought we're gonna get past one let alone two three this is revolutionary is what the people said is what the people in the industry said and also outside the industry as well inside it people in between the industry were also very like they were they were surprised because it, it's not something that's been done before now mind you this is years years ago maybe we're talking maybe 10 15 20 years ago probably and groundbreaking trailblazers really but they had a vision they had a vision and they're like you know what sometimes less is more but sometimes more is more so we started to add, you started to see a couple of years went by, four blades. Nowadays, bring it all the way for, fast forward to today's modern day society. We're, we're dealing sometimes with blades. I've seen five blades. I've not yet seen six, but I think if we, we're gonna need to put a little bit more funding into this. We're gonna need to do a little bit more research. We're gonna need to do a little bit more crowdfunding we're into, uh, somehow we're gonna need to get the public to go on board full force with you know uh, six plus blades six seven blades just I think eventually some say in the future we might have ten blades but I'm no mind reader here and that's just you know that's outrageous speculation ten blades <laughs> but then again we said the same thing about two blades. who would have thought we would plan with like two or three blades look at us now moving heading forward to a new direction uh, for better or worse i don't know will it be smoother definitely will it you're gonna like again you're getting now you're you're getting more than just removal of hair you're getting skin you're getting layers of skin removed and more blood which is but that's the thing i'm like that's fantastic little little incremental you know just the trajectory is moving up and that's what it is. And I'm like, man, what's the scientific community? What's Big Pharma doing? Maybe they're like, maybe try, trying to reinvent the wheel, but they're not trying to reinvent the wheel. They're looking at the wheel and they're like, man, the wheel model really works well. And they're just improving upon it. And that's the thing. First one, some of you guys have got the first one. You, you went and got the second one. And it was recommended that you get the second one after you get the first one. And to follow that up with a potential third one, if you're, you know, and it's recommended that, but now you're starting to read and hear that there, there might be, there will probably, so each, get to know your Greek alphabet is what I'm trying to tell myself because I think for every letter of the alphabet, there will be a booster shot that'll be, that'll be beneficial and it will just reinforce the, it's, it's like a, it's like a bandaid on top of another bandaid and then you went swimming didn't bother to clean it up and then applied another band-aid on top of that and underneath there was a little bit of mold and like mildew starting to form and a little bacteria got in but without you actually peeling it and like looking at the core why why are we in this situation how did this cut end up getting infected and what caused the cut in the first place 
uh, Wuhan lab. <clears throat> and uh, what happened with gain of function is really the question that you should be asking. And how is this going on with this cut that we just... And, but the band-aids are super. The band-aids are... The people like the band-aids. I've been working on my trunk for the past two days and it's not coming in. It's just I got to... I gotta listen to, because that's the thing. It's gonna be one of the longest lasting presidencies ever, as a matter of fact, because that's the thing. He had his four years. Now, in between time, we're just focusing it on like, and when I say we, I mean like a global we, a United States of we. It's four more years of, you know, having like having that, and then like really like, you know, questionable leadership right now. And, and like all across the board, all right? All across the board, not to even like, that's the thing. There's so many other, oh, blah, blah, blah. But that's the thing. We're gonna need to, like, we're gonna, and I've been reading, they might even go head to head, pound for pound. It might be Hillary again versus Trump. Hillary again, like, and, and that's the thing. You're, you're looking out there like, man, where do we find two solid humans to take the initiative, take the leadership position and really elevate, a, the United States and and the world. Like we're, we're a community, baby. We're a community that we're all we're like a train that's attached li link by link, car by car, <sighs> holding hands tightly. Don't let go. It's that's the thing. But it'll be basically. And then he's always been in. He's always been in the uh, public eye in one shape or form. So this guy's been. Come to think of it, and that's the thing, I think, uh, yeah, Elon Musk just got man of the year, if I'm not mistaken. Was it times? I think, like, Trump would get man of the decade, a good solid decade. It's been, like, how many times the word Trump's been just articulated or, like, printed or mention in one shape or form and that's the thing so i'm just like i'm getting ready so i got like two more years to really own in on the voice and just make it my own because there's so many great people doing it right now oh man but potentially this is an avenue that i like to also you know it's a little bit of you know just a little bit of experimenting a little bit of experimenting i love china 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 oh china Millions and millions of people. Hands, hands of people. I hit the wall. Kill the wall. China. I like China. The I think the body language is coming in faster than the actual language itself, but... China. I like China. I like to build them all. They say, who's gonna build them all? Sebastian, who's gonna build them all? <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's not perfect. I'm working on it. All right. It's not perfect. Uh, I, it, I got two years to just really get in there with the vocal cords, and it's more listening than rather actually speaking. But I like China. Well, they said they're gonna build a wall in China. Millions and millions of people like it. Oh, I exert a lot of energy doing that, but boys and girls, I love you. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, I love you. Thank you for all the love and support, long-time listeners and viewers. <laughs> Go ahead and hit those like buttons, man. If you got skin tags and you want it removed, hit those like buttons like magic. It'll disappear. I'll take care of it for you. I got people working on it right now. I got people working on it right now. And you go down to Patreon. You help this little snowball just keep on rolling, baby. Because it's snowing outside. We're picking up little 
and they're all different. They're all different. Canadian snowflakes. We make our own. We don't look at we because there are countries out there bringing in their own. They can't produce. They got they got SD, dude. You know, snow dysfunction. That's what it is. So they they gotta they gotta resort to outsourcing. They go and bring them by the time it gets there. It's just water. <laughs> stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> Trying to get snow places where it can't physically snow. All natural, grain fed, free range fucking snow here. And we're picking up steam, baby. We're picking up steam. We're picking up smoke. We're picking up some wood. We're picking up some dirt. But we're, we're snowballing. We're snow. And it's getting cold outside. We might get a little bit of freezing rain. All of a sudden, your snowball is no longer a pure snowball and you chuck it at your friend's face ah oh, it starts bleeding oh no valuable lesson learned early in, in school don't pack ice because that shit is painful and you know it's easy to point fingers and be like hey but then it's all about learning it's all about learning so you know go ahead practice building those little snowballs turn them into snowmen and women Go fucking genderless if you have to. You don't need to, you know, what? It, let them decide. Let them decide. It's too early to tell when you just make them. It is. Whoa. <laughs> too, it's too early to tell sometimes. But that's the thing. Once they make a decision, you, you let them know that they got to stick with it. But I love everybody out there. I'm just sending everybody good vibes, positive vibrations. We're, we're starting off with, on a high note this week. And hope to build upon it and keep getting higher and higher and fucking higher and higher. And the universe is expanding apparently way too quickly now. Which is like, slow it down, buddy. Slow it down. But that's a, that's a good thing. And eventually, like, whatever like is expanding and evolving, it will come back to its original starting point at one point, maybe. In one shape or form. So... All this, us wanting to travel into our, let, let, instead of us going into our, let space come to us. And we're already, guess what, we're already in space. So, money saved, resources, just tilt it a little bit, just tilt it a little bit, you know, or keep it tilted on whatever side you like to, you know, just, just keep doing you, baby. Keep rocking and rolling. Keep going after your dreams, baby girl, baby boy. Don't let anybody, and I mean, don't let anybody, whether it's your teacher, whether it's your mother whether it's your father whether it's an uncle whether it's an aunt whether it's just a stranger people in society animals human animal hybrids ai whoever is telling you you can't achieve your dreams you let them know that these dreams can be achieved and you you go after them and that's what it is you just gotta that's as, as long as you keep trying every day that's the only and I'm not trying to you know uh, who you know I'm not an expert at dreams baby like there's so many other people I'm not trying to get Freudian or anything about this or Jungian about this oh what do they mean sometimes they're just fucking dreams baby they're just fucking dreams sure sometimes you're you know oh it's helping you you know solve issues that you weren't maybe able to you know solve on a regular basis in daytime activity and sometimes you just got to let the subconscious take care of it so be it let those dreams unravel on their own but at the same time you're we're all connected everything's you know because that's what it is man six to eight hours we're all just news and what is real just keep asking questions it'll lead to somewhere and together we're gonna keep marching forward baby we're gonna keep fucking marching forward you and i we're gonna march 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 and sure you know that they there will be curveballs there will be attempted attempts at distractions distractions they just want oh Distraction booster. Dis another this booster. Distract booster. Another this boost. Distract boost. It'll be by the time we come out of it, we will be. If we don't put a stop to it, if if we need more people to speak out, we need more people to speak out. Because then again, if you don't speak out, we're all gonna be Swiss cheese by 2024, and you're gonna be so tired and just frustrated, and they're gonna give you Hillary again, and they're gonna give you Trump again. And as much as you don't like Trump, God damn, this lady's unlikable. I don't know her, 
politically speaking, though, it's just it's maybe it's the suits, maybe it's the suits and the haircut, maybe it's the fact that it's just sometimes when people get a certain number of dollars and commas and stay in politics for a super long fucking time, just but but she still got, but she, she might be the first first lady. No, she's already been the first lady, right? She'll be the first. Lady President, but I'm I'm telling you, you gotta di diversify your perspective. Same here with Canada, dude. Same here with Canada. I'm not trying to like other countries. You got your own stuff to do. Where like it's everybody's gotta like it's, tighten up those bootstraps and pull them pull them higher. But yeah, here in Canada as well, we need to just kind of like defund politics. Get get away from get away from uh, building career long politicians i want i want more of the i want more of the revolving door mentality that is very much in place and a lot of you know i want that mentality in government i don't want some like i don't want to see the same person within politics for too long because they stay in there they start to get comfy they start you know they start getting they start getting fucking you know they start getting it and we don't want any of that. So 2022, come 2022, baby, we're going to start off on a high note. We're going to keep on going higher and higher and higher. We're going to just keep on motivating the fuck out of each other. We're going to fucking tickle each other's fantasies. We're going to we're gonna support each other. I'm talking, we're going we're gonna to support each other like child support, baby. We're, sure, a little bit of neglect, but the money's coming in. But the money's coming in, and somebody's got to be out there to earn the... the daddy's not home. Mommy's not... They're putting... T food on the table on the actual fucking table if you're if you're younger and you're not appreciative appreciate if you're older but and you're bringing the food you're the food bringer uh, thank you from the and then get them to appreciate you it's it's all gonna be teamwork it's all gonna be teamwork a locked in effort a fucking teamwork baby and i'm your fucking captain right here i'm glad you made it it's been another social production believe it or not ladies and gentlemen these days are the days of our lives. The, these days are the days that'll make us, we'll, we'll look back at these days once tomorrow comes. Any other way, it'll be, we're, we're now looking into the future and they say you wanna look into the future, look into your past, personally and societal, to see the future and so many things to be tackled. Oh, grab your shin pads, grab your knee pads, grab your thigh pads, Grab your inner thigh pads. Grab your jock strap. Grab your female jock strap. Do females have jock straps? Seriously, do y'all have? Never actually thought about that, but I mean like a kicks a kicks and I know you don't have balls, like, but still like, and it, you got things to protect. You got things to protect. Shit, fucking, ah, uh, how do you think it? Think it, baby. Think it with me. Patent it with me. Fucking Shark Tank, do it now. Fucking Lady Jog Straps. No itch, no smell. No more, no more worried. Are you worried about getting kicked in your crotchal area? Ladies, 22 is gonna be the year for you, baby. We're gonna put the strap back in. We're gonna strap in. Tired of seeing you guys worried out there. Whether you're playing sports or you're not playing sports. Whether you're playing sports or you're not playing sports, get the female jock strap. Box trap. We're working on the name, but it's original idea one and only. It's never been, and sh we'll we'll have different variants, baby. We're gonna have different variants. We're gonna have different because I want you. To, I don't want you to just get the same one product. Oh, oh, oh. Am I getting fully? Am I getting fully all? Am I getting fully covered? And do I? Is this full coverage? Well, tell you what. The first one is gonna be full coverage, but then we're gonna do think tanks. We're gonna do research, we're gonna have pie graphs, we're gonna have charts, we're gonna have charts inside pie graphs, and it'll be there'll be dips, there'll be there'll be valleys and rivers and forestry. Fucking a lot of green. We're investing in green, baby. Green's the next big thing. It's tech, fucking green. Tech green tech. Putting it in there. And we're gonna come after you, ladies. And that's what that is. You can you can count on us. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, lady jock straps. Right there, baby. It's right in. Sometimes the answers are right in front of you. Just gotta look. Just gotta look. All right. 
Tunnel all this shit, and, and the same at the, at the same rate. Are is anybody making protected bras now? Not that I'm just thinking about protecting body parts, because like regular bras or like sports bras, sure. But do they come with like? Is there metal padding? Is what I'm asking you. If the answer is no, how has this not been done? Because you want to fucking you want to take on the world, baby. Metal padding bra, just fucking square angles and shit. First of all, I think we're all over. Uh, we're getting there, right? With the robot, we're, we're, we're getting there. I think we're, we're going to start to appreciate really angles. That's what we need. And fucking magnetic capabilities as well. Where's my key? It's stuck to your, it's stuck to your metal plated bra. Prote but it's protective. It's real protection, not this fucking fabric. Fucking fabric, just fabric? Elasticity, what are we doing out here? What are we doing? What is this? Fucking 1990s? It's 2022, baby. It's going down. It's coming in hot. We're going to think outside, but we're going to make products. We're going to brand it. We're going to brand those products. We're going to brand ourselves. We're going to sell ourselves to each other. And this economy is going to fucking just keep on getting bigger and stronger and digital, baby, because fucking it's going to get digital. You know it's going to get digital, baby. Where the pennies at? Nowhere to be seen. Guess where it starts? The smallest fucking the smallest steps. The smallest. I love you guys. Sending you all positive energy. Subscribe to subscribes on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. If you're already on YouTube, you're watching on YouTube, you know what it is. But go down to Patreon. Go down to Instagram. And I want you to talk about this. I want you to talk because it's important. It's important to me. It's important to you and everybody else out there. We're going to together. We're going to build. We're like... We're like nature, we're like, that, we're like snow baby, which is nature's fucking Play-Doh basically. You, you know what I'm talking about? You just get to form it and build it the way you want to, and doing it your way. Doing it every fucking week, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Once in a blue moon, you might miss an episode because some sort of an emergency came up, but like we're here every fucking Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays. And things are changing, baby. Things are changing for the better. I can just feel it. I can fucking feel it. Fucking Santa's right around the corner. Have you been naughty or nice? Have you been naughty? You've all been naughty. You've all been nice. You've all been naughty and nice. I know because we've all got that naughty and nice in all of us. That's what it is, baby. It's handing out fucking gift. You get a gift. You gift. 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 China. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll be back here again on Wednesday. Stay loose with it. Peace out.